Hello, 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 everybody. Happy Monday. Excited for this video in this uh, good lighting and now stepping into the shadows. <laughs> Wanted to pop on here as the sun is going down, show you guys some scenery here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day in Miami Beach. I'm just getting outside, have been uh, inspired and been creating inside and connecting and communicating with a lot of you guys. And we're gonna do a new challenge today. I had two awesome, awesome, enlightened conversations today. Uh, recorded awesome conversations with um, with Demetra and uh, Alexandra, um, and I'm excited to share those with you guys here in the near future. And they both inspire me to share with you guys what I'm sharing with you now. And it'll be this week's weekly challenge, which is called "Do You," <laughs> the "Do You" challenge. And what does this challenge look like? And um, I have a strong suspicion that this weekly challenge will extend for some of you into the remainder of your time here on this planet um, because um, this is who you truly are and this is who all of us truly are and this is the reason why I love sharing a planet with 7.7 .7 billion of you guys because all of us have lived such different life experiences, such unique life experiences and this planet needs each and every single one of us to continue to evolve the way that it will evolve while we're here. And what do I mean by that? Well, there's no two of us that, um, you know, say you and I both popped on to do a video and we both wanted to talk about apples. Even though we're both talking about the same subject, that video is going to come across totally different from me and totally different from you because both of our life experiences have been completely different when it comes to the subject of apples <laughs> and this goes for every single subject on the planet and so what does this mean for all of us well the reason that this is the do you challenge is because i noticed that a lot of times we can ask ourselves what should i be doing with my life what should i be doing with my day what should i be doing while i'm here doing whatever it is that i'm doing and um, my question to that is where does it say anywhere in the sky <laughs> what any of us should or shouldn't be doing <laughs> where does it say that and so since i don't know where it says that um, anywhere and you probably don't either then the question is what are you most inspired to do inspired from the root word inspire in spirit what are you inspired to do and whatever the answer is to that that is a really, really, really great next step on any of our journeys here in this moment, starting from now and this moment to the next moment to the next moment and going forward for our entire lives. And the beautiful thing is because all of us have lived such different life, different life experiences, whatever that means to you, whatever that you know inspired next step on your journey is, it's gonna be a beautiful next step for anybody to take so that you can go out there and you know create what you want to create when it comes to you know your career or your health or your relationships or your finances or whatever it is whatever part of life that we're talking about and so i'm gonna be double around let me get some more some more good lighting out here it's a beautiful day so many people out here enjoying the the daytime here beautiful monday in miami beach um, don't know if the art event is still going on or not, but um, people have been enjoying themselves thoroughly. I've been excited, been inside, you know, creating. You know, I know you guys are used to seeing me frolicking around this beautiful beach, <laughs> which I have done plenty of that in 2019. And most likely I am not done yet, but at the same time, I'm enjoying myself and enjoying connecting with you guys and communicating with you guys and creating and collaborating and that's really what the remainder of 2019 and going into 2020 uh, means to me right now but back on track back on topic and so the do you challenge um, my encouragement is to the next time that you ask yourself what should i do right here you know maybe you are inspired to um you know maybe you have the option to make a decision maybe someone is asking you on a date <laughs> and you're asking yourself should I go? Should I do this? Should I not do this? Next time those words should or shouldn't come out of your mouth, I want you to remember this conversation and I want you to do you. I want you to do whatever it is that you are inspired to do. If there is a energetic pull, 
uh, even a slight bit of excitement to go discover who this human being is that wants to go out on a date with you, and this is just one example, this could be any subject of life, then my best encouragement for anybody is to follow through on that. Just go do it. And what you're going to discover when you start taking these inspired actions, these inspire, inspired actions, you're going to notice that you're going to have beautiful bits of clarity start to show up in your life where you're like, wow, because I went and did this action, now I know for sure that I want to do more of that. Or now I know for sure that I don't want to do more of that. And now I know. So now I know I want to go this direction on my path or whatever it is. But that's a really, 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 really great next step to give you that clarity. And I'm all about life experience. I'm all about pro-life experience, which is for all of us, our best teacher. And so if you're inspired to take any action and you choose to follow through with that, that's gonna give you that life experience, which is gonna give you that clarity, the things that you like and you don't like. And it's gonna give you that clearer picture as far as the direction that you now want to go. And then you can focus your attention and your energy on that. And when you're focusing your attention and energy on anything that you're choosing to do, I want you to do you. I want all of us to do us because that is what makes the world beautiful. That is what makes the world unique. That is what makes it fun to share a planet with all 7.7 .7 billion of you. Because again, we could be focusing on the same subject, but we're gonna focus on it differently. We're gonna do it differently. We're gonna speak about it differently. We're gonna think about it differently. Um, and that is what makes it so much fun to share this planet. And the last thing that I wanna share, because even though we are all different with these life experiences, here's what makes us all the same. Here's what makes us all connected. Here's what makes us all one. When you hear that term being used, what makes us all connected, what makes us all the same, what makes us all one, is that all of us have the ability as human beings to feel happy, joyful, blissful, loving. And we also have the ability to feel sad, depressed, frustrated, worried, and everything in between. That's what makes us human. That's what makes the whole human experience beautiful. So we are all the same when it comes to that. But here's the thing that I want everybody to, to know and to be aware of and just always know to be true. We are in those energies of, you know, anything where you're feeling good. You could even just be at peace or content. But when you're in the energies of love, when you're in the energies of being happy, joyful, if you definitely can, if you can go up and be blissful, nirvana, ecstasy, um, euphoric. These are like the higher, higher, higher frequencies where we don't really have words to describe stronger frequencies than this. But we can feel even better than that as human beings. When you're feeling anything, even if you're feeling at peace, at ease, just chilling, when you're there, you're connected with the divine. You're connected with God, the, the universe, love, all that is, source energy, spirit, whatever you want to call it, you're connected. And so you can be sure when you're taking any action that you're taking, when we're taking that inspired, inspire, inspire, inspire action, that is coming from that source. That inspiration is coming from there. And if you just continue to live your life when you're doing you, because doing you is really just do, living life through your life experiences while being connected with that energy. And that means that you, in those moments, are who and what you truly are. We're all who and what we truly are when we're connected with those frequencies, when we're feeling good. Just to simplify it, when you're in a good mood. <laughs> and when you're not, we're always connected, but we can't really... We can't really pick up on the vibe. We can't really pick up on the frequency. We can't really receive the thoughts and ideas. We're not really acting from that place. So it's all good. You're human. You're going to spend time all over the place. Hold on, let me get it. I'm in a shadow again now. <laughs> Somebody translate. <laughs> That's the thing about Miami. It's just such a melting pot. I'm going to wrap this video up, but I think you guys get the, the gist of the challenge, the do you challenge, and that's all we're going to focus on. We're just going to watch. Um, we're going to watch the thoughts and ideas that come into our mind this week. We're going to catch ourselves when we're talking about should I or shouldn't I do this? Forget that. Next time you ask yourself that, like who's to say, where does it say in the sky what I should or shouldn't do? Then ask yourself, what am I inspired to do? And then follow through on that and then control. The only thing that any of us can control is what's our vibe, what's our energy, what's our mood, what's our vibration, what's our frequency in this moment here and now. And if you control that and you follow through on that and you choose to live your life and your life experiences through that, it's going to be unique to only you. You're going to be able to provide an insight and an experience that only you could provide because you're bringing your life experience with you and you're connected with that energy of all that is God, universe, love, whatever you want to call it. And it's going to be a beautiful experience, giving you more clarity and helping you go in the next step and the next step in your journey, pointing you where do you want to go. So that is the challenge for this week. If you choose to accept it, <laughs> some good lighting right here. I should do the rest of the video right here. <laughs> but sending positive vibes to all of you guys. Hope you are having a great start to your week. I will talk with you all soon. I'm headed to the gym right now, getting this workout in. 
And I'm just excited to be connecting with you guys, to be sharing this love and light with you guys. And I will continue to do so as long as I am here, sending positive vibes to you all. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye for now from Miami Beach.